Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Paul here from Interesting Places. I'm in Buckinghamshire. I'm in the churchyard of St. James in a place called Gerard Cross, looking for the final resting place of an actress and an actor. Give you a bit of a clue who the actress was. She starred in a 1945 movie as Madame Arcati. The movie was called Blind Spirit. I'm looking for the final resting place of Margaret Rutherford and her husband, who was an actor as well. He came under the name of Stringer Davis. I sometimes try and get access into the churches, but today this church is naturally open. It's a beautiful church, huge with the big dome on the top. It's a shame I couldn't get access to it today. Slow down, Paul. This might be the perfect time to pause the video. Just as I said, it was a shame we couldn't get access into the church. A member of staff passed me and I mentioned how beautiful the church looked. And guess what? They had the keys. So let me show you the inside of St. James's Church in Gerrard's Cross, Buckinghamshire. The parish of St. James within the deanery of Amersham in the Diocese of Oxford is the result of an amalgamation of St. James Gerrard's Cross and St. James Fulmer, which began sharing a single parochial church council in 1984 and were formally merged in 1986. It is a Grade II listed building and its architect was William Tite. The church was consecrated by the Bishop of Oxford on the 30th of August 1959. It was erected as the sole cost of the sisters of the late General George Alexander Reed, who was an MP for Windsor. The church celebrated its 150th anniversary on the 31st of August 2009. And we're just coming up now to Margaret Rutherford's final resting place with her husband, Stringer Davis. That was actually his um, stage name. It wasn't his real name. It came under the name of Stringer Davis. His real name was James Buckley. So here's the final resting place of both Margaret Rutherford and her husband, James Buckley or Stringer Davis. Despite having an acting career that lasted from 1936 to 1967, she is best remembered for her performances late in her career as Miss Marple, the fictional elderly amateur detective created by crime novelist Agatha Christie. The character has been popular since 1930, but it wasn't until Dame Rutherford's portrayal in 1961's Murder, she said, that she first appeared in films. Margaret Rutherford had appeared in 12 movie roles prior to her appearance in the 1945's Blythe Spirit as Madame Arcati, that established her as an actress. In the 1950s, she starred in a number of successful comedies before assuming the Miss Marple role, which she appeared as in five movies. In 1963, a performance as the Duchess of Brighton in the motion picture directed by Anthony Asquith, the VIPs won her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. She was appointed first as Officer of the Order of the British Empire in 1961 and then as a Dame Commander in 1967. Margaret Rutherford died on the 22nd of May 
to the loved memory of Margaret Rutherford, DBE actress, May the 11th, 1892 to May the 22nd, 1972. Dear wife of J.B. Stringer Davis and James Buckley, Stringer Davis, June the 4th, 1899 to August the 29th, 1973. Stringer Davis was also an actor, born in Birkenhead, Merseyside. He began his career in the theatre and made his film debut in Charles and Mary in 1938. After serving in the British Army during World War II, he resumed his career appearing in nearly 30 movies which included Miranda in 1948, The Runaway Bus in 1954, The March Hare in 1956, Big Time Operators in 1957, and I'm Alright Jack in 1959. He also appeared in several Agatha Christie movies from 1961 to 1965. He died on the 29th of August, 1973, at the age of 74. So there you have the final resting place of not one, but two. One actress, one actor. Margaret Rutherford and Stringer Davis. The thing I love about this actual gravestone is the mention at the very bottom. A blithe spirit. Well, this was another one of those graves I wanted to visit on my bucket list. I've finally done it. Hope you've enjoyed this video from me, Paul, at Interesting Places. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.